So one of the things we need to do here today is to replace that valve that uh, broke back here. Oh, it was a winter freeze, evidently. Let's see if I can get down in here. And looking through the mirror, and that's why I bought this mirror. You can see there's uh, one little screw down there. And this is gonna be fun to do. Because I gotta get that out. Then I'm going to pull this valve out and replace it with the new one. So, it's tight quarters. And I'm gonna try to do it without taking out the toilet because I sure didn't want to do that. And the lighting is not real good. So we'll see how that comes out. I need to take that screw out first so I can get to the assembly. Note to anyone taking that out, by the way, if it has these little uh, hex, hex ends, like that. Forget the screwdriver, it's impossible to get in there. Each one of these it's a little quarter inch, and it came right out. I struggled for 10 minutes trying to get the screw to fit the screwdriver to go through there. Ugh. I knew we had to have done it easier than that. Okay, once we get that screw out back down there, the next thing is to take this off. There is a tab right there at the top. You need to push down, and through the mirror, you can see that other tab down there. Then this unit will pull out. Let me show you what that looks like on the new one here. So these are the tabs I'm talking about. You have to push those in. Once you push it in, the whole unit will come out. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've got to get on the bottom and then get on top. Okay, finally got that part out. As you can see. So now we're going to have to take the take that uh, hose off on the back back there Not sure if you can see that take that hose off that's gonna unscrew then we need to take this top this top part off right here that hose put the new one in reattach hoses back together it may have been easier just to take the stool out good lord Okay, the carnage continues here. Did you get it? Yeah, I'm videotaping what you just did. Oh, okay. So, Greg had some heavy duty uh, wire cutters. I mean, these things are big. Kind of things you go through cattle guards with. What he did was uh, clip that. Now, he's saying very small wire cutters probably aren't going to do it. And what we did was break that. A little bit. Hope that's focusing. Now we're going to get in with some pliers, see if we can get that loose. Alright, finally got that thing off there. I did go ahead and use, uh, he got a good chunk of it. There was still a piece on there I couldn't put a, pli a screwdriver through, bend it up, and break it. So I was able to snip that last little part right there. So these are a bear to get off. They do hold, but if they if they need to be taken off, that is a lot of work. So we're gonna go back on with a regular clamp. White fitting clamp. Okay. Finally got this sucker out. Now I don't know. Can't remember where the leak was. We decided oh, right down here. Right there at the top. See that little bit of uh, brownish? Right there. That's where the uh, that's where we think the leak was, right there. You can just see a little bit of a crack. So, lesson learned on that. And the reason that froze up, let me tell you. When you antifreeze your RV, I forgot to come in here and flush antifreeze through the toilet until it was pink. It would have trapped inside that little bowl 
and that would not have frozen. So that was my mistake. What I had done is come in and just put a little bit of antifreeze in the top here, which you really didn't need to do. So it's a learning curve, but that's how you take that sucker out. Now we reverse the process, and then we go have beer and something to eat. All right, get everything back together. Let's go ahead and uh, turn the water pump on. We're gonna check for any leaks. They got everything back together. Did not take any time at all. Well, we get a good squirt of water through there. Let's check around our hoses. Everything good all around the base. Got that tightened up. And that tightened up. It's all snapped in. So everything seems to be good. Didn't take that long. So that is a Dometic 300 series toilet. I hope you never have to change that little puppy out right there. He's a bear.